Hello and welcome again. Today we're going to be painting Thousand Suns. Now you'll notice I didn't say speed painting and that is because if you have chosen Thousand Suns as your army or if you've painted them at all before you will know there is no quick way of painting them. They are so detailed they take ages and ages and ages. The best I've managed to do using various methods and still sticking to the main paint scheme is to get them down to 60 minutes which is still pretty quick for a rubric marine. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you need to undercoat your model. Uh, I've used Color Forge Gold, which is color matched to Retributor Armor, so you can use either or, but it needs to be gold. Next, you're going to use Reichen Flesh Shades to shade the entire model. You can use the gloss version if you want, but I'm not too bothered about it still shining afterwards because we're going to be using some gold dry brushing to make it shiny again anyway. So get it all over the model. Uh, and make sure that every area, especially the gold areas, are shaded. Next I'm going to be using a dry paint called Sigmarite, which is a really awesome gold colour that you can use to just dry brush things back up to a nice shiny gold. If you don't own that or you can't be bothered to buy it or don't want to, then you can use Liberator Gold, but it won't work quite as well. Next up we're going to need Stormhost Silver and what we're going to do now is a really fine dry brush. I'm talking practically nothing on your brush because if you overdo this your model will just turn silver. So you want to do it really really lightly just on the raised areas and catch some silver on there. And this is like the final element of the gold armour. You can use it on custodies as well, it works really really well and it gives a nice shiny gold. So with that nice gold layer done, it's, uh, it's given us a pretty solid foundation to paint the rest of the model. And to start with, we're going to do the armour panels in between all the gold areas with Thousand Suns Blue. Now this takes ages and ages and ages. This is going to account for a good half an hour to 45 minutes of painting this model. It takes ages. Enjoy. You may also find on certain parts that are hard to reach, you need to switch to a detail brush to get in there, uh, so don't be afraid to do so. And so here it is with all of the blue painted. To give you a little trick to save you some time, you'll notice that on the back of the, uh, the chest plate, I've not actually painted the blue, and that's because when the model's on the tabletop, you can't see it. So save yourself some time and just do the front and ignore the back. Next, equip yourself with lead belcher, and we're going to paint in all of the silver areas, which includes the barrel of the bolt gun, inside the magazine, the casing up the back, and then the pipes, uh, and any other details on the helmet. Next, you need Abaddon Black, and you need to paint in the main part of the gun casing, and then all of the under armour that's showing through between the main armour panels. Next, equip yourself some Nuln Oil, some Magic Shade to make this look a lot better than it currently does. So put it all over the blue areas and we'll touch it back up later, uh, and all over the metallic areas. With everything shaded, your model is going to look something like this. We're at a good stage right now, and if we wanted to, we could paint in a couple more details and call it a day. But although we're speed painting, we also want to make it look as good as possible. So we're going to get some Thousand Suns blue, and we're just going to add a little bit of blue back onto the main areas of the blue. You don't need to spend ages doing this. Just give it a little touch-up to brighten it back up, especially on the areas where the light would hit. Like I said, don't spend too much time on this. Just give it a really quick once over. You want to spend three minutes tops doing this. Equip yourself with RM and Blue, we're going to do a very selective edge highlight. By that I mean we're not going to edge highlight everything like we would if it was like a gold standard model. We're just going to pick the areas that the, uh, the light would hit most prominently, shall we say. So around his boots, on his hands, on the elbow joints, and then just at the top of each of the, uh, the blue panels between the gold trim. And that's just going to make it look like we spent a lot more time on it than we actually have. 
Next you're going to need Mechanica Standard Grey and you're going to use that to highlight the bolt gun casing and also to uh, pick out the runes on his bolt gun. Now this can be a little bit fiddly so just do your best. If you want to make them look like they're glowing then use blue, however I'm just going to make it look like they're etched in. Um, it's a little bit fiddly so do your best with a detail brush, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate, you just want to make it look like they're standing out a little bit. Next grab your Corax white and we're going to use that to paint the cloth details that are, or the tabard that's hanging down between his legs. To be as neat as you can, try and avoid getting anything on the gold that you've painted. It's going to be a little bit fiddly as well due to some of the patterns on the gold, so just do your best. Once you've done the tabard, switch to a detail brush and continue with Corax White, we're going to paint in the eyes now. So just be as neat as possible, try and keep it on the lens. If you make a mistake, you can touch it up with gold, but thankfully they're not too small, so it should be quite an easy job. And so this is where we're up to now. The model's looking pretty decent, we've painted in loads of the details, but there are a few more that we need to do to call it complete. Grab yourself some Avalon Sunset, a good solid yellow from Games Workshop, and we're going to paint in the giant head detail thing that's sticking out of his helmet. You want to pick every other one and paint them yellow. Uh, this can be extremely fiddly. Sometimes you're going to get really frustrated over running onto the one below, and then you'll have to go back at the end and paint it blue. It can be very annoying, very fiddly. Just do your best. It may take two coats of yellow, uh, so... Be prepared to spend a bit of time on this. With all that done, the worst of things are over. If you haven't already considered selling all of your Thousand Sons and buying a different army, you can continue on with Apothecary White. And we're going to use this all over the white areas and make them look like we've shaded them in, spent loads of time painting them. When we haven't, we've just put contrast paint on them. It's magic, this stuff. I really like it. Next we can use Hex Wraith Flame to paint in the eyes. You can also, if you're painting the Icon Bearer, use this to paint in the flames if you paint all of the flames Corax White first. Uh, you can use Bealtan Green if you don't have Hex Wraith Flame, but the flame colour is much better. Just stick it straight in the eye and uh, it's job done. Alternatively, stick it all over the flames if you're painting that uh, and it will come out looking really good. Once you've done the eyes, turn your model around and just paint in the little eye detail on the back with some Hex Wraith Flame and that'll create a nice little gem effect without spending too much time on it. Last but not least, equip yourself some white scar, water it down quite nicely and then just do a little bit of edge highlighting on the tabard to get it standing out. So let's sum up the edge and then wherever the cloth would fold. And with that detail done, the model is finished. And what an emotional journey it's been. If you've decided on Thousand Suns as your army uh, and you've started painting your Rubric Marines as beautiful models as they are, uh, there's no doubting that they take a really, really long time to paint. If you want to do it really, really quickly, you can go onto the Warhammer TV YouTube channel and uh, they've got a guide on there to paint it really quickly comparatively it still takes quite a long time but the gist is you spray it gold paint the blue areas paint the silver areas and then just null noil the entire model but it looks like you've done just that which is null noil the entire model this method is a happy balance between painting it properly um, using duncan Rhodes guide from warhammer tv uh, and the speed painting method it's somewhere in the middle it's going to give you a good result while still coming in at under an hour per model which is pretty good for rubric marines as ever if this has been helpful for you please do like and subscribe leave a suggestion below as to something else you'd like me to paint in what scheme and i will do my best to do it thanks for watching